Good evening, Bella. Good evening, welcome. <laughs> oh. Hello, Vicky. <laughs> Good evening. Janice is here with us. Good evening, everyone. Now, um, oh, Janice, you, you got the um, um, top fan mark. Oh, thank you, Bella. Yes, yes, I had a um, <laughs> better evening. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Vicky. Um, Alison is with us. Um, yeah, Ronnie is with us. Thank you. Welcome, Ronnie. Good evening. Oh, by the way, I just, um, oh gosh, I, I left my, oh yes, there's my drink. Yeah, Rebecca is here. Tracy, welcome, Tracy. Tracy, I think, um, have you sent me a text message, Tracy? Um, I, I think and I, I got your text message, but I had no time to actually reply. So I will um, reply um, to your text message. Sorry for, um, you know, for the delay. Okay, I'll find a um, um, good one and then I will let you know. Um, oh. Now, good evening, everyone. Um, how was your um, what you, your day? Um, today was um, Monday, um, and it was um, Holy Week, Holy Week Monday. Um, well, um, without this sort of you know drama, um, everything should um, <laughs> should be a bit more quieter before we go into the um, um, you know the. Um, the climax of you know the Holy Week, which is um, you know a tridium, um, the sacrum, which means um, you know the holiest um, you know, three days, which means um, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday. Um, but um, since we we are actually everybody, um, you know, one of um, all of us, since we actually locked down, and then I wonder whether um, your day was peaceful and quiet, or um, were you uh, struggling with this? Um, <laughs> by the fighting against the temptation um, um, of you know such wonderful weather, but today was slightly better than than yesterday, I think. Um, yeah, but still, it was a good day in terms of weather. Um, that was a beautiful day, and then yes, I think um, um, we all had a um, busy day. Uh, certainly, my day was quite busy, and I received um, just just bombarded with. Um, with the messages and then um, you know request from um, the local funeral directors and then um, the numbers were um, I mean the, the number of funerals I actually am um, climbing up and then um, I'm slightly worrying about um, you know our local funeral directors because they are also human beings and they are so under pressure now and then um, it is real it is real but Whatever, and my day was okay. I'm still here, and, and I'm just glad that um, I can um, sit here and, and um, talking to you, um, who are um, sitting and listening and watching um, to me, the other um, end of um, this internet, because we are all connected in a way. Um, for those who are watching this video um, with your child under age, I will strongly suggest that you send them or send her or send him back to their own room because I'm going to say um, you know, a couple of other stuff which is um, possibly um, might need to be uh, age restricted. <laughs> don't get too excited. No, don't, don't go there. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so I assumed that there will be um, no children around. Yeah? No, I can't see any children here. Oh, silly. Um, just make sure um, that um, this is for the grown up talks. So if they resist to go back to their room, and then what I can suggest you is actually to use your, um, you know, headphones. Yeah? 
<laughs> so just make sure that no children is around. <laughs> I'm okay with the children, but um, this is, um, well, this is Holy Week, so I want to um, share with you a um, little bit different, you know, different um, than usual. Many of you will um, remember that at St. George's Church, we were um, organising, we were trying to run a activity um, together, and that was um, the Parish Film Night. We, I picked um, the two films, and then um, the first one was, um, we planned to see this film on the, um, on the Friday, the th week three, in Lent. And then after Easter, we want to watch um, another film at some point, but we had to cancel it. So um, one member of the you know, congregation came to me um, you know, weeks ago, and actually he borrowed this CD, and then he watched this um, you know, film by himself. Um, this is from Tartan DVD, Tartan Films. And then the title of this DVD is Spring, Summer, Autumn, Winter, and Spring. Spring, Summer, Autumn, Winter, dot, 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 and Spring. If you have um, a Netflix account, I don't know, I don't have one, um, but you may be able to find this film, and then um, it is apparently, it, it is Korean film, um, the director's name is Kim Ki Duk. Ki Duk is his name, and the Kim is family name. Um, director Kim's film: Spring, Summer, Autumn, Winter. Dot 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 and Spring. It is not a brand new film at all. I think um, it is going back to the two thousand two three ish, because I can see. Um, it's um, a couple of, you know, um, awards, and they're all 2003, so this film should be released 2004, I think, 4, 3, yep, I think the DVD came out in 2004, so it is quite old film. It is the story of a Buddhist monk, yep, this is a story of Buddhist monk, and as you can see from this I wonder whether you can actually see this or not. Yeah, can you see this? Yeah, this is a little, little monk, older one, and then you see some of very strange pictures or the photos from the DVD. So this DVD is all about the Buddhism. Um, not actually the Buddhism, it is the story of a Buddhist monk um, who was struggling with um, his conscience. Why he has to um, struggling? Um, because he, um, well, th this is reason. Um, he met a woman, a young lady. They fall in love with each other and then they have sex. Well, in ordinary circumstances, well, what, what's wrong with that? They love each other, and that, that's what we can expect. So that is absolutely fine. But in this context, especially in this movie, what the director wanted to show was very simple. This young, um, um, the Buddhist monk, was going because of the, his guilty sen um, uh, you know, the conscience. He was going into the difficult time and in particular for those who know um, a bit more about the Buddhism that will understand better this um, you know asceticism is, is a key um, their enlightenment for example the Buddhist um, Buddha's enlightenment never comes to the Buddhist um, Buddhist monk or those who hold the Buddhism as their main faith um, for freely, they have to achieve that enlightenment by themselves, and the way they achieve is actually to to do 
to go through this, you know, asceticism. And then what they're trying to achieve through this asceticism is actually to empty their ego. Yeah. So the key um, the point um, for the Buddhist, um, you know, the asceticism is, is to how can I empty my ego, including our own desire. And then the more you actually take it out, is the better. Because you can be freed from all these, um, you know, um, human desires, which will, at the end of the day, will block us to go to the enlightenment, and then that will actually block us to be free. That is one of the key concepts um, that we can see from um, this movie. So, you can see, it's a beautiful image, you can see a lot of, you know, the lovely settings. There is this beautiful pond, um, you know, kind of lake, and in the middle of the mountains, and then there is kind of floating island, it's a small island, and then you can see a Buddhist temple, which is only capable um, to accommodate two or three people. It's not huge. And then this young Buddhist monk, um, is going through his asceticism and then he's 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 um he's he spent his time to clear his conscience and he does lots of things he just carved the um, um the word of buddha on that wooden deck he spent whole day weeks months and you can see the weather is changing and the season is changing, and I think that's why it says spring, summer, autumn, winter, and the spring again. It comes back. But I think that the question is, um, is it really possible for us to be freed in that sense? I think um, the director wanted to tell us that life is always going on again and again and again. That is that is a Buddhism. But why do we need to? Um, why I suggested this film to um, to the members of you know congregation? Is it because I believe this asceticism is so beautiful and attractive? And, and no, it is not. It is not because of that. Um, the reason why I picked this one and, and recommended this film is because of it helps us to see how our salvation works. In the Christian context, um, it is different. We don't achieve the salvation by ourselves. Rather, we put it in this way. The salvation cannot be bought, cannot be achieved by our own will, nor um, our own behavior. It is not, salvation is not goals. For example, you can set your goal. Let's say, um, I'm going to do some diet, and I'm going to reduce my weight, or you know, my you know waistline was you know size was this, but now I'm getting bigger and bigger, and then I'm in trouble. So I will do that. It is nothing. It's not like that. Our salvation, we cannot achieve, and I think that is a difficulty. Salvation is only given to those who believe. What does this belief mean? In, in our Christian context, not like this Buddhism, the process towards the enlightenment of the Buddhism, the Christianity is, is all about understanding of the meaning of ransom. Our redemption has been given to us not through our own activities. It is not because we are worthy, or we could achieve something. Rather, it is all because of Jesus Christ being the ransom for many. So in the Buddhist in, in the Buddhism, possibly in this film, what you can see is you acknowledge a sin or the issue in you with your conscience and you deal with it. And you have to go through it and then you have to make the necessary sacrifice in order for us to achieve what we call the enlightenment and the freedom. But in Christianity, what we need to do is just acknowledge our sinful nature, 
or wrongdoings, whatever, and then we bring them um, into the cross. So we ask Jesus to accept our weakness, and then Jesus will be sacrificed for my own sin and yours. The event of Holy Week, the Passion and Death of Christ, it is important. Why? Because that is the key to our own salvation. Jesus did something not for himself, but for us. But if we simply say, okay, that's what Jesus said, it's nothing to do with me. In that case, this passion or death or even resurrection doesn't mean anything to us. But if we can believe and if we can understand the way our Christian salvation works, this passion and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ can be a, such an important thing for us. Behind that, Jesus' passion and all this, you know, Easter story, behind that, the fundamental ground level fact is Jesus did because he loves us. And that is the core message of Bible. That is the core message of Bible. So Christians, in a way, we are lucky. We are lucky. We can be a bit more selfish, I think. Well, you know what I'm talking about. So this Holy Week, and particularly, um, I'd love to ask you to think about what type of faith that you have. What types of you know, personality that, that you have. What kind of life that you are living. Are you worrying too much? Or are you just forget something? I remember at the beginning of this, um, you know, the pandemic, um, we, we saw lots of, you know, the funny and the silly, or rather disturbing photos of, you know, let's say a young gentleman or the young lady um, standing in front of empty shelves. Yeah. Do you remember that time? Yeah. It's getting better now here. But I saw um, a rather disturbing but sad but wicked um, the photo. It is, um, I don't think that was, that has been um, very famous in this country, but that was a photo taken, apparently according to what the photo says, um, in the um, uh, Walmart in America. Walmart, yeah, big supermarket, Walmart. And then it was a picture of a Bible sections. Yeah, Bible sections. <laughs> Even the Bible corner, one, two, three, four shelves. The Bible was nearly gone. I'm sure some of you would remember, you know, the photo that, that I'm talking about. Why? Are they going to read the Bible because they become so faithful? Or are people responding? <laughs> to the faith because they feel fear if you feel okay after this pandemic i will go to the church because of you now fear something i will recommend you to stay in your home <laughs> even after this pandemic and then think about the meaning of um, the christianity i'm not discouraging you to come to the church as a vicar i will say oh, you know, brilliant I love to see you more and more people coming to the church, but before I encourage you to come to the church, well, I have to be honest with you. You have to be honest with God. We need to think about why we go to church. And I pray honestly that this Holy Week or even this drama of, um, you know, coronavirus pandemic may, gives us, may give us a, a chance to think about our own life and then the meaning of Christ being on the cross, and his death, his passion and death and his resurrection. We 
may be able to um, beginning to feel that actually on the bottom of Christianity what lies is actually the love of God. If we can actually achieve that, that would be wonderful. And then, well, t today, um, the Office of Reading, um, what I'm doing, um, really, I found um, the St. Augustine's, um, you know, the preaching. It's, it's part of his sermon. I'm not going to read all of them, but this is, this is brilliant. It's just a short thing. Um, what God promises us for the future is great. Yeah, what God promises us for the future is great, but what we recall as already done for us is much greater. I think um, <laughs> you can argue with this, but what God promises us for the future is great, yes, but what we recall as already done for us is much greater. How do you respond to this? And I believe <laughs> that St. Augustine wants to um, tell us that this Holy Week and what happened um, during this week is so much greater than simply we accepting the news of salvation. Um, Keeping that in our mind, now the time is already um, quite late. Um, I'm sure you will all know this, you know, the hymn, this kind of, you know, um, the gospel hymn, Jesus um, loves me, um, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. So I think this is the fundamental message that I want you to remember um, or to think about um, this evening. While we're singing um, this um, beautiful, you know, gospel song, let us keep um, those whom we know, um, our family and friends, maybe um, those who have gone before us, or those who we miss, you know, the people whom we don't actually communicate that much, people you feel quite... Um, uncomfortable to be with because each and every one of us um, we are the children of God and then God loves us equally it doesn't really matter who we are or what status that we are in but you know regardless of age you know ethnic background whatever God loves us and while we are singing, please join me in singing. And then this song may give us the sense of um, being loved by Jesus. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so Little ones to Him belong They are weak but He is strong Yes, Jesus loves me The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible. He 
As usual, we're going to light a candle. We're going to light the candle for those who are struggling. And, and um, in particular, um, those who have lost their beloved family and friends recently um, of coronavirus or of anything. But in particular, I will um, pray for the repose of um, the souls um, whom I heard the news um, of passing, especially one member of our community. And then pray for um, those who are struggling, who are fighting tonight. they may experience um, God's healing. They may know um, God loves them. They may feel the presence of Jesus with them tonight. So let us pray. O oh God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen. Good night, everyone. Tomorrow is um, Holy Week Tuesday. As usual, Mass um, will be live streamed at 12 o'clock. And then until um, we actually go to the, uh, the Monday, Thursday, Tuesday and Wednesday night, we are going to um, do the thoughts for the night as usual. Have a peaceful night. Sweet dream. Bye for now. Bye.